Hey guys, Mike Linares here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Today we're talking all about body fluids. Now the human body is made up of 60 to 70% fluid. And as you grow older, H2O gradually decreases from birth to old age, usually because of muscle mass, which holds water and gradually decreases with age. This is why our infants and elderly patients are most at risk for fluid imbalances. Now guys, just think of your sweet grandmother here. Our elderly populations are most at risk for fluid imbalances like fluid volume overload. Now, due to heart failure or broken kidneys, something called renal failure, or on the other side of the coin, dehydration from not drinking enough water or usually because they're not thirsty or forget. Now, what are the top three factors that mostly influence fluids? Number one, we have muscle. Number two is body fat. And three is gender. So starting with muscle, muscle holds on to water. Guys, please write that down. That's a huge test tip. But also skin and blood contain the highest amounts of water in the body. So technically, obese patients have less fluid than those who are thin because fat cells repel water, kind of like how oil floats on the top of water. Now, I used to be a personal trainer for a long time, about eight years, and I always used to think obese people had more water retention because I thought that's what made them bloated. But it's actually the opposite. Obese people have less total body water than a lean person. For example, if we had two patients here at the exact same weight, both weighing, let's say, 200 pounds. That one patient who's 200 pounds of muscle and another patient who's 200 pounds of fat. Well, the obese patient would be most at risk for fluid imbalances like dehydration because less lean muscle mass and more fatty adipose tissue. So it's easier to understand why in general, younger people have higher percentage of body fluids than older people. It's mainly the muscle mass. Now also, since men have proportionally more lean muscle mass than adipose tissues, aka body fat, in general, men retain more fluids than women. Now, body fluid is located in two main areas, fluid inside the cell called the ICF, the intracellular fluid, and fluid outside the cell called the ECF, the extracellular fluid. All right, guys, thanks for watching only one part in our full video here at simplenursing.com. If you guys click the link right here, you can get access to our full course as well as our new quiz bank, which is really nifty. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. And last, but definitely not least, a big thank you to our script team and nursing family who helped us put together all these nifty videos.